Hi there, welcome to ABC. So ABC stands for Abs, Balance and Core. So most people, when they think about core, they think about lots of sit-ups, just mainly working the abs. But your core muscles consist of a lot more than your abs. So all the muscles around your chest, all the, the back muscles that help support you and keep you stable and also pelvic floor muscles and all the muscles around your bottom and your hips all really important for fitness and for general mobility actually so you know everyday life like balancing um, stopping yourself falling over all that kind of thing so it's really important to have a healthy and strong core okay so we are going to start with some laying down exercises we'll, we'll do a little warm-up We'll do some laying down exercises, then we'll do a couple of balance exercises, followed by some standing core work, and then back down to the mat. So make sure you have a couple of dumbbells, they don't have to be heavy, a um, couple of light dumbbells, maybe one, two kilos, um, a mat, and water. Water is really important. So just take a drink whenever you want and we will get started with the warm-up. So I'm just going to start the music. Right, so laying down on the floor for the warm-up. So you're just going to lay down and roll your knees from side to side. So we're just warming up the spine here and warming up these abdominal muscles. So gently rolling from side to side. Now bring your feet together, lift up your hips and squeeze your bottom. So this is called a glute bridge. We're going to be doing some of these more intensely in the workout. And now bring your knees together and roll back. So just warming up those muscles around your lower back and loosening off the spine. Okay, right, back to the rolling from side to side. We need to make sure we're nice and warm in all these muscles around here. and roll your knees back. So as you can see, I've got bare feet. Don't need trainers for this because you're not going to be jumping. So there's no support needed for your feet. In fact, it's better to do the balance exercises in bare feet. Okay, now take your feet off the floor and roll. Just makes it that little bit harder. Okay, right, so come onto your front, up onto your hands, and bring your foot as close to your hand as you can get it. Just hold it there for a few seconds, we're just stretching out your hamstrings. Other side. And now back to the first one. See if you can move it a little bit further away, a little bit further towards your hand as you stretch out the hamstrings. Other side. Okay, right, so you should be feeling a little bit warmer now. So I'm gonna show you the first exercise, which is on the mat. So laying down. Feet are hip distance apart, knees bent, and you're just going to do basic ab curls. So that's bringing your shoulders up off the mat, okay? Right, let's go. Up. So if you can, raise your shoulders up off the mat. Lifting up. Make 
sure you bring the shoulders up. And rest. Okay, right. So for the next exercise, we're just going to tap down. So feet up, knees up, bent at right angles. And you're just going to tap your foot down like that. Okay, let's go. So pointing your toe, the further away from your bottom you can tap down, the more you're working your lower. So you're working these lower abs here. Down. If you want to try moving further away from your bottom, try that, see how that feels. Good. Excellent, keep going. So we've got 40 second stints of these exercises. And rest. Okay. Right, we have got a glute bridge now, so feet down, you're just going to squeeze up and down. So you're just lifting up your, your pelvis, lift up, squeeze your bottom and down. So you're squeezing these big muscles here, which are your glutes, squeeze up and down. So it's a nice slow movement. Focus on the squeeze. Squeeze up. And rest. So just bring your knees in just to release that a little bit. Next exercise, I want you to put your feet together, knees are apart, and we're going to do the same thing again, but with your feet together. So this is a butterfly glute bridge. So lift up your hips, squeeze, and at the same time, you need to be pushing your feet together. So pushing your feet together, squeezing your bottom, lift up. Now you'll probably feel that in your bottom muscles, it might start to burn a bit. Lifting up and squeezing. Okay, bring your knees back just to release. Okay, now you're going to need your weights. We're going to do something called the dead bug. So, knees up, arms up. So you're going to put your opposite hand away from your opposite leg. So, arm goes over the top of the head, leg stretches out in front. Over the head, opposite arm, opposite leg. Takes a little bit of coordination, this. Over and bring back up. You're working lots of different muscle groups here. You're working your arms, your triceps, your core, and your legs. Okay, right. Come up on your feet now. We're gonna do a balance exercise. So, standing up, arms out to the side. You're gonna balance on one leg and try to bring one leg up slowly and down while standing on one leg. Don't, don't put this leg down on the floor. So we're going to do one side first, and then the other. Lift up, and down. Other side, lift up, and down. Try and stand on, the, on one leg. So you're using your core muscles here by lifting up your leg using your core and by standing on this leg you're using your ankle muscles to stabilize next exercise so you're going to bring your leg out to the side and across the front if you can so 
out to the side and across. So lifting up as far as you can to the side, standing on one foot. This is why it's good to do it in bare feet because you'll probably find that the leg you're standing on is wobbling a little bit. That's good. Lift out and across. as you can to the side, try not to touch down, and rest, okay, now we've got a standing bicycle, so you need to get your elbows out to the side, you're going to bring your opposite leg up and twist at the top, so you're twisting, don't put your chin down, so imagine that you have a, an orange underneath your chin. That's how your chin needs to be, just to protect your neck. Lift up and twist. Nice slow movement, don't go too fast. Lift and twist. So you're working all the muscles down the side of your abdominals, your transverse abdominals and your obliques. Okay, now grab hold of one of your legs, just one. So we're gonna work all the muscles around the diaphragm here. So you need to hold your weight out to your chest tight and just slowly lift up, stretch tall and back down. That's all it is, it's a simple movement, but you should feel it in the muscles here. So you don't want to be bringing it down below your chest, it just comes to chest height. Hope you can still see my face <laughs> when I bring it down, it's blocking out the, the camera. As long as you, I'll do it from the side. Lift up and down to chest height. Stretch up tall. Okay, right, so if you grab hold of your other weight, we're just going to do a side bend here. So you're just going to bend down to each side in a fluid movement. Down, so you're just literally just sliding down your leg. Make it nice and slow, make it nice and gentle. Don't want you to jerk because that's how you pull muscles. So it needs to be a slow, gliding movement. So you're working your, the muscles in your lower back here and also the muscles down your side, the ones that define your waist. One of your weights down. Now you need to be kneeling on one knee, and this weight is going to come up over that shoulder and across. So it's like um, it's like you're drawing a big semicircle, but it needs to go over the shoulder and across the side of the waist. So it's kind of like a diagonal twist. This is called kneeling wood chop. And now change sides, other foot forward. Lift up and across. And rest. Okay, right, we're back on the mat now for a plank shoulder tap. So into a plank position, so your hands are directly under your shoulders, your back is straight, you're on your toes. And now I want you to tap the opposite shoulder, try to keep your back straight and not move your hips from side to side. So this is a very good core exercise. If you can't do it on your toes, try doing it on your knees. And 
and rest. Okay. Right, we're now going to do something called a bird dog. So you're on all fours on your knees and you're just going to reach out your opposite arm away from your opposite leg. So one side first of all, extend your leg out to the back and squeeze. Extend and squeeze. Your head is just facing down towards the mat. You don't need to lift your neck. Other side. Stretch out. Squeeze your bottom as you extend. Squeeze. one round done we've got one more round to go so same again starting with your ab curl so your knees are up just lifting up your shoulders breathe out as you come up lift your shoulders off the mat working your upper abdominals up we have the tap down on your feet. So if you want to try something different this time, so we tap down our toes last time, try it with your heels. It's a slightly different movement. So every time you move your feet when we're doing these kind of exercises, you're just shifting the focus on different muscle groups. So remember that the further away from your bottom you go, the harder it is. So try, see if you can go a little bit further, see how that feels. If not, if, you, if it's too difficult for you, just come back to where you were. Okay, now we have a glute squeeze, there's glute bridge. So feet on the mat. Knees slightly apart, so you want to be hip distance apart, and we're going to lift up into a ski slope position, squeeze and down, squeeze. So all these kind of exercises where you're lifting your hips, squeezing your bottom, really good for strengthening your pelvic floor. Lift up and squeeze. And rest. So bring your knees in, just release the muscles in your bottom and your lower back. Next, we have feet together. Feet together, knees apart, and you're just going to lift up into a butterfly glute bridge. So lift up, squeeze, push your feet together. Make sure that you're pushing your feet together, that will help to work your inner thighs here, you probably feel it in your inner thighs as well. Again, this is another really good one for pelvic floor strength. Okay, bring your knees in. Next we have dead bugs. 
So you need your weights for this. Grab hold of your weights. Knees up, arms up. So extend your arm away from your opposite leg. Coordination needed. Don't put your weight down over your head, just make sure it's just hovering slightly above the floor. Okay, right. Up on our feet now. Just move my mat, it looks like it's uh, moving, toward, moving towards the radiator there. Okay, balance. Lift up your foot, your leg, slowly up, slowly down. Try and lift it as high as you can, try and get it as straight as you can. My leg is not particularly straight, I have quite tight hamstrings because I run. You've probably got a straighter leg than I have. Lift up and down. And rest. Okay, now we're going to do leg to the side and bringing it across. We'll attempt to have a little dance there. Lift out and across. So try and lift it as high as you can. Try not to touch the floor. Try and balance on that single foot the whole time. And rest. Lift out on the side and across. So you're working here also your outer side and your inner side. So you're working outer as you go up, inner as you come forward. And rest. Okay, standing bicycle. Elbows out to the side. And you're just gonna remember the orange under your chin. Don't do that and don't do that because you put strain on your neck. So just imagine that orange. Elbows out to the side. Bring your knee into your opposite elbow. So twist your shoulder, not just don't just bend your elbow down like that. Twist your shoulder. It's all about the twist in the upper body. overhead lift. So, weight out to shoulder height, lift up, reach up tall and down, reach up tall and down to shoulder height. So working all the muscles in your shoulders and around your ribs. any running or any other sport, having a really strong core is very beneficial to all sports. Okay, so grab hold of your other way. So running for instance, having a strong core will help you running. And lean down, bend down to each side, just sliding down your leg side to side, slowly. Just 
a nice slow movement. Nice and gentle, go as far as you're comfortable with. Okay, put one of the weights down. We are going to go back to the kneeling wood chop. So, just make sure you're kneeling on something that's nice and soft. Don't want a, a sore knee. Lift over and across. Up over your shoulder and across the side of your waist.
you can come on your knees if you want, however you feel comfortable. Bring your arm back, just stretching those triceps. Okay. Fabulous, well done. Um, just let me stop the music. Okay, if you liked that, I do have an online program called ABC um, where we do 30, I've got lots of 30 minute workouts, all similar to this, but each one different. So if you, if you enjoyed that, um, that's available online if you just follow the link on my website. And thank you for joining me.